good day. In this video, we're going to talk about the translating or translation of real life verbal expressions and equations into letters and symbols. Now, to make it simple, here it is. Example nito or the conversion of expression into phrase or vice versa. For example, let's say we have the expression of two. Yan, nakita nyo sa screen. Yan. Two and may addition and nine. And how do we read that in real life? That is read as two plus nine. Ito. That is twelve minus five. About this one. So, kung confused pa dyan, uh, this is also used in multiplication. Itong uh, parenthesis na yan. So, 6 parenthesis 9 means 6 times 9. Ito. 50 divided by 10. And lastly, we have 12 minus 8. So, ganito lang yung lesson natin. But, it is not that simple kasi these phrases here is not the only way to say or read these expressions. Hindi lang ito yung mga phrase na pwede natin gamitin to read these expressions. Okay? Meron pa. So, let's start with the addition. Ano-ano ba yung mga phrase na ginagamit natin to uh, symbolize addition? Ito yun. Uh, addition. First and foremost. Addition. Uh, pwede rin plus the sum of more than added to increase by to the total of uh, and that's all. Then, subtraction naman natin. Ayan. Uh, Siyempre, subtraction minus ano pang mga pwedeng gamitin? The difference of less than decrease by Diminish by. So, pag nabasa nyo itong mga, tong mga words na to, alam nyo that it signifies subtraction. Subtracted from less. Next, sa so multiplication naman. Multiplication times the product of twice multiplied by uh, last na ba to? Of, ito, off. And that's all. So, pag nabasa nyo itong mga words na to, alam natin that it signifies multiplication. So, division naman, we can use this division symbol or pwede rin itong fraction var. So, pag nakita yung fraction var, um, alam nyo na na that signifies division as well. So, ito, 1 over 12. This is 1 divided by 12. Review lang. Numerator, ito yung fraction bars. Ash, fra fraction bar signifies division. And then denominator, the bottom one. This the denominator is the dividend. 12 is the divisor. Okay? Fraction bar is the division. Okay, ano-ano ba yung mga words na ginagamit natin to signify division? Uh, division divided by the quotient of the ratio of. Okay. And lastly, the equal sign. Alam natin yan. Ito yan. Is equal to equals is uh, is the same as. So, ito yan. Okay. Uh, let's try to answer this. Match the following phrases in column A to, to the algebra expression in column B. So, we have column A here and column B. Mamatch lang natin sila. Ito yung phrases, ito yung expression. Okay, let's use our pen. Here. So, 12 more than 3. Anong letter dito kaya yan? Anong letter? Uh, yung letter A natin is 2 times 9. Of course, that's not that. Ito, si letter E. 3 plus 12. 
12 more than. Diba? Ang more than ay plus then addition then So, more than means plus 12 more than 3. So, that's letter E. Number 2. 12 diminish by 3. Anong yung diminish? It signifies subtraction. So, 12 minus 3. Asan 12 minus 3 natin? Ito. Letter C. Twice 9 is 18. Twice 9 is 18. Sabihin, dalawang 9. Or, 2 times 9 is 18. Is natin is equal to. Diba? Yung is signify equal sign. Means equal sign. So, 2 times 9 equals 18. That's letter A. Number 4. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 18 divided by 2. So, kung naalala nyo yung division natin, fraction bar din. So, 18 fraction bar or over 2 equals 9. Letter D. And then, 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. 6 multiplied by 3, and 6 times 3 equals 18. So, that's B. Yan. So, kaya mahalaga na may familiar tayo dun sa mga other wordings na ginagamit to represent the different type of operation symbols. Okay? Next. Naman. Express the following algebra expression into algebraic, algebraic expression. Use the chat box. Oh, but since this is a recorded video, wala tayong chat box. Uh, okay. So, the difference of 20 and 4. Wala ngayon tayong choices. Tayo magsusulat. Uh, difference of 20 and 4. So, that is uh, 20. Difference nila. So, that's the difference is minus 20 minus 4. That's it. Next. The quotient of 15 is 3. Quotient of uh, uh, quotient of 15 and 3. Quotient. What is quotient? It's the division. So, 15 quotient of 3. 15 divided by 3. Or, pwede rin ganito. 15 over 3. Ayan. Next. Product of 4 and 7. Product of 4 and 7. So, that is 4 times 7. Pwede ring 4. Yung parenthesis natin, 7. It means the same thing. Okay? Product of 4 and 7. So, 4 times 7. Next, the sum of 5 and 8. Sum of 5 and 8. So, 5... Yung sum natin, of course, that is addition. 8. That's it. Next. 25 subtracted from 30. So, yung 25 daw, may 9 no sa 30. So, that means 30 minus 25. And next, ito, medyo mas may hirap. 7 plus 9 is 16. So, 7 plus 9, 16. 7, napakadali pala. 7 plus 9 is, so that is equal 16. Basic. 12 diminished by 5 is 7. So, 12 divini diminished by 5. That is subtraction. 12 minus 5 equals 7. And as you can see, tama naman, di ba? 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. Next, twice 15 is 30. Twice 15. So, that is 2 times 15 equals 30. Or, pwede ring 2 times 15 equals 30. Forty nine divided by seven is seven. Forty nine divided by seven is equal to seven. Or by the ring forty nine over seven is equal to seven. Parehas tama. And lastly, to yung twenty nine is nine more than nine. Ito medyo medyo tricky siya. So let's think it through. Twice 
9. So, that's 2 times 9. Diba? 2 times 9. 2 times 9 is. So, that is, itong is na to means equals. Et, so, equals 9 more than 9. So, itong more than na to, that means plus. So, 9 more than 9. O, oh, yun. Ganun lang pala. 2 times 9 equals 9 plus 9. Itong is 9 is more than 9. 9 more than 9. Or, pwede ring 2 times 9 equals 9 plus 9. Parehas tama. Okay. So, I guess that's all for this video. And I think this is enough for you to answer your written works for week 3, module 3, ng quarter 3 ng mathematics grade 6. Okay? So, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.